Well, isn't that the million dollar question, I suppose? We shall see. It would be really, really nice for them, I think, if they could get this victory under their belt. Moving into the latter stages of the competition. Synopsy, first line of defense. Not landing a single shot so far. Not as crisp as yesterday's pistols. I'll give you that much for free. A 4K against Viperio. Not finding the same success here at all. Bomb's gone down. He's lost his head. And they've lost a massive amount of control on that B bomb site. Definitely retakeable here. They do have a smoke and a kit onto the bomb. Just going to body block for this player, I think, to try and get the defuse in. It's looking pretty good, you know. It's looking very good. They're not able to find him at all inside Ooh. that smoke. And a uh, team kill in there just to make <laughs> things interesting. But Guild Eagles, they will nick it away with the Ninja defuse. Well, MP9s for Guild Eagles. You say, very generally speaking, the buy slightly better over towards that CT side. But doesn't really matter. Perks and Panics combined. Double P finding a double kill. Okay. Big deal for alternate attacks. Synopsy tries to go in to avenge his teammate. And you know what? He nearly does, mm. but I think him going down is not worth the sort of one and a half kills that he manages to pick up there. Now, all tight square, Guild Eagles. Scratching their heads a little bit in terms of what their response is going to look like. They don't I just feel since the flip over, there's been something in the uh, in the water, something in the air. It has resulted in some pretty mental games and very, very unpredictable. For sure, GXX getting aggressive. Finds the first pickup. They try and also make some noise outside of B main. But nothing quite happens for the Guild Eagles. A one for one. However, you know, you've lost a, a decent weapon there and Rigon very low indeed. Down he goes. Either way, panics, even the charge. Senery tries to turn, tries to fall away. Isn't able to do so, and now they can just pounce on towards the A site. Nobody home. Do keep trying to get a little bit of aggro, trying to take these fights kind of to the face of alt attacks, and they're always ready. Good, even a nice little double in that round. Has to be a little cautious of the smoke, but apart from that, it should be good. Great timing of the nade. Three and Goody E, a big chunk. Rigon steps up for two. Looking for more as well. Back sight, but he's dropped by Orzek. It's a messy, scrappy fight on towards the B. Bomb will go down. Cost them quite a lot on that Guild Eagles side, though. The defense falling a little flat. But Sineri with a cheeky push in. Trying to be the hero. And he's definitely going to have to be here with an AWP up the rear. There's not really much that GXX can do to help Sineri, unfortunately. And yeah, they just... They fancy it, but they're unable to really find a way in. Sineri hoping to draw them out. They're actually sticking with it, though. GXX does spot a player. Moving in. Trade is there. And with the kit available, we are going to see Guild win the round. Wow. Okay. I think Sineri in his head had gone... He's on that crack. He's ready for the Orzek peak. And he will indeed find the frag. Looking good for Guild Eagles here, I have to say. Alternate attacks look very timid. Very nervy of a gamble slack, it feels. Goody flashing towards Dark from behind. They pounce. What a round. We said these are the sort of rounds that if played improperly, Guild can punish and they do. And it's barely even the orb that does, which isn't the worst thing on CT side. Snopsy, play man that smoke. Free, he's going to spam. He gets pretty damn close. Just get a tag as well. Oh, oh, and the kill. There it is. Must have heard a little bit of something. Synopsy didn't really know where to go, and of course, stray bullet to the cranium is uh, potentially one of the worst ways to go. GXX back with a trade, does pick up freeze. That's okay, a little curious. Whoa, one Flatcher with an aggressive swing. Finds the kill while full blind from his own flash. What is going on there? That is that is a Guild Eagles play if ever I've seen it, for sure. They're back down to a three versus three here. Minute left on the clock. It's an advantage slim for alternate attacks they move in towards this b bomb site scenario and gxx combining to try and pull this round back in the favor of the ct side they're gonna have to look for a reposition over towards dark so much utility you know been used to keep them at bay so yeah they're just fully changing up their spot gxx makes the noise really feeling it knees spotted and gxx takes him lovely opening frag into the two versus two now just panics. There's not a lot of time left on this bomb. Is the one thing that he does have in his favor. Molotov coming round. Not sure what good that is going to do for him. He's going to get the flash in. Convinced that on on it. He can't stop the diffuser, though. He thought it was planted better for him. 
I guess the head armor as well. The MAC-10 should have no issues. And even Guild Eagles, traditionally on the CT side, would need to buy head armor. They realize one flasher for one. Make that two perks. We'll follow six feet under. And he's looking for more scalps to find, but all they can answer back. My goodness, what a mess of a round. It's just about in favor of the Guild Eagles, but they have lost control of the site, albeit briefly by the looks of things. All coming in together, though. This could get messy. Surely two of them at least spotted there. Galil unable to Ooh. connect, and Freeze thought he'd found that frag. And he was a dead man. How this plays out. Goodness me, a lot of fire damage there. Onto both sides, it feels like. Rigon going to get taken down. And Juan Flatro, that boost, they were on it for a long time, but it pays off. Absolutely pays off. They really committed to the idea of it, and you can see it's kind of won them the round, to be honest. Through, you're still fighting. Over towards the A site, and he's going to find another kill. GXX is making something of this. Definitely living up to his namesake. They will both just back away and say, you know what, I don't want anything to do with that. I'll take my advantage. You take your survival, and uh, we'll meet again later on. Bit of a gentleman's agreement in a weird way. Perks are fine when flat right. Out level things, but only momentarily. It's Rigon on his back. Freeze to fall. Goody trying to find a gap in the smoke. But he might get caught. Side swiped. Between a rock and a hard place, you had the M4 coming from Connor, the orb swinging through to Nopsy Foster's lines. In a two versus three scenario, this is still looking pretty good for Guild. Time starting to tick. Bomb still in their possession. There's nowhere really safe to go with it. They're going to have to go in for the rush bomb plant here. Nice and open, to be fair, from Panics. So he will get that confident plant through. We'll see how this looks. Oh, he's getting aggressive. Sineri's so ready for this. The shot lands from the AWP, but it is through the wall. Not enough damage, leaving perks to do it all. Can't find the first, and there you have it. Guild going to find themselves seven rounds on the CT side. That is so respectable. It looked like alternate attacks were in full control after winning the force by in the second round, but... Guild, they wrestled it back and alternate attacks. Nice and deep over there. So Guild Eagles really being uh, pulled pillar to post here. Struggling to find a way into the A-bomb site, but they will find it as Perks falls. However, the defense, very ready. Freeze, timing in here for two, or maybe should have had that second. Will be kicking himself, but they might just have done enough to keep them at bay. It's Goody. Finding two from the side. Orzek creeping round. Will be left to do it all. It's Rigon with the damage, but no frags as yet. Can he pull off the reload in time? Oh my no goodness, way. somehow no staying way. alive. I don't believe he's going to get this. Oh, Goody denies him at the very last second with the 11 HP frag. Goodness gracious, that was nearly masterful from Rigon. GXX putting out the scout as well. He's pretty crisp of it. Now's the time to prove it. Guild Eagles... Ultra attacks hot on their tails now. Great nade. Great swing from Sennery as well. Lovely little one two setup as well. They got a lot of early space looking for more scalps. But the big trade still keeps numbers in favor of Guild. Just about. Looking good. Oh, freeze with a big frag. However, yeah, Guild feeling very comfortable right now. A lovely rotation around here from Arzek, but. Rotation's only half the game. Molotov goes in, splits them apart. They're going to go through it. Oh, and he does pick up two, leaving it in the one versus one for GXX. Maybe a little overzealous from the Guild Eagles. The bomb plant is indeed coming around this corner. So Freeze has to go to him on only 20 HP. It's really not ideal. He guesses wrong. And now GXX will know where he's at. And he's just not considered the angle at all. It's a bit of work for GXX, but... And they're not really wasting... Any time trying to find ways into this round. Guild Eagles, slow creep though. Slow creep up dark. Definitely an interesting move. Just contacting out onto B. Seems to be working thus far. Olzek staying alive behind the pillar, but for how much longer, right? Yeah, it's so low after his first exchange. Three versus three definitely is doable on the move back in. Now though as well. Few... Of all the attacks, questions whether whether they give this a go. They are, it's working. Perks and Panics combining. Sennery still on clear. Swing on the corner. Messy spray as well. Damage, no frag. And looking to try and swing out and find one. He will tap on towards the bomb. No time anymore for Perks. He may get the kill, but it will not make a difference. Guild Eagles inch closer to the finish line. 
11 for them. Yes, Park stays alive. In a fair decent amount of damage being dealt through mid as well. Nades are okay. Freeze took a hefty tag earlier. It's forced to just fall further and further away. They might not expect one flutter up close here. That's very true. Yeah, and he does get the catch onto one at the very least. It, it's not huge, huge, but it's enough to run rampant and just confuse the squad. That's pretty huge, though, from one flat throw. Double spray down, ends the round, and starts to hammer this one home, to be honest. Easy, efficient. The goody. We'll get one, a consolation, a potential upgrade as well. Whether he keeps hold of it might be a different story, but there's just no money left in the back pockets. We'll get another, so at the very least. You know, doing something there for the stats. Goody's making a decent attempt here. This might be his last ride. He's heard both. Hang on, no! Not like this for Goody. One tap on towards GXX. He should have gone for it. He doesn't know how low one flat show actually is, but... We love an auto shotgun from that angle, for sure. Definitely curious to see what he can get done with it at this point. Oh, it's a nice little flash, you know. He might make a move off of it, but no. Give the space back, Synopsy. Ooh. Oh, clean frag. What are they doing with it, though? It's freezing from behind. He just get taken down. Oh, my God, this is all over the place. But Guild in the chaos have found themselves a four versus two now. I think they will really fancy their chances from here, to be honest. Looking very good indeed. You know, you've got an AWP. Not the ideal weapon. And then you've got another auto shotgun. Also not the ideal weapon. Panics goes down after a missed shot. And Mr. Perks, to do it all, has to be a hero. We'll see. Can he get it done? In for one. one. Ah, that's it, though. That's it for him. 13-6 in the end. Alternate attacks. He's falling very, very flat there after yeah. a super strong start. They won a force buy in the second round. We were like, okay, here we go. This is looking pretty good. They are putting Guild Eagles down, but Guild took a moment, stepped back, and just didn't really. Bravo! Bravo. 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 Hi there. Bravo. Really Bravo. good. Did you see all my Problem is, tagged is alone on B, and Guild Eagles are about to hit the site. Smoke over towards Dark, just to deny any entrance through there, which is where the drop would come through. So Tag has to do a lot, and he's tagged and bagged. Space on through. That smoke actually hits on Dark, but it doesn't matter. Rigon, he's just charging on through. That's the kit drop. Bomb planted. Guild, start with a bang. Yeah, this is difficult. Two players on the flank immediately, but it might not matter so much, because take a look at Guild Eagles. They're taking the space all in CT. Nice shot from savannah but the kit is high and dry all the way back in spawn it has to be a full 10 second stick so the kills need to come in thick and fast fino working trying to get a kill but it's one flash row with the double up leaving it all onto savannah the sole player from sam you've got a kill in the first instance and one kill will only remain the reality one flash row with the triple up regon with a double entry guild eagles with the pistol guild eagles looking to potentially split here Smokes come in, Fino waiting patiently, tagged, gets caught by the mollies, a little bit battered and bruised, but the off angle will prevail, Regon hits the deck, fantastic flashbang, but it blinds both parties, and suddenly Guild Eagles are out. Yeah, Regon goes initially alone, and Fino, he's trying to make a play, he's charged through that smoke and he's managed to double up, can't quite get away, and she expects it's a no scope on the Zedco, they managed to bring this oh. one back, trying to lock them in as well, B main and dark. Gonna back away and they've found Savannah. They could just go A if they want to. But the alive is gonna come through. Back's turned, but it's a 180 from Flatro and Guild clutch it out. Oh. It's already showing the sort of aggression that Guild are known for, what they want to bring into the server. He's leading the entry into the site through dark. The Fino finds a gap in the smoke and he's found on Flatro. Petco though charging through, gets a double. We saw Fino do this before and they're not even allowing that bomb to go down. Tagged and Zedko at jump across and he's trying to find this fight. Might actually baited forward into this AWP shot. GXX is waiting for something and there it is. They didn't know he crossed. He's able to find that kill. And now they want to keep going. Zedko, oh my god, GXX decapitates him. The trade though and Savannah, oh double fountain nearly prevails and to be honest it's given Fino a little bit of room, needs the shot on GXX and he does. Now he can push further back in towards Briggs. Guild Eagles have got to come through A main but it's Fino hitting everything. 
Synopsy thrown into a one versus two. Smoke down. Digits punched in. And it starts to get very tricky now for Synopsy. No smoke though. Planning for him. Flashbangs. Synopsy coming forward. Gets that first fight on the Fino. Doesn't know what hit him. And now he hears tag. Sees tag and swings for him but can't convert the spray. And tagged. Able to find the kill. Pick up the op and defuse the bun. Time is running out now for guild. They know it. They have to go fast. Tagged. Tucked in towards jail. Not cleared. And Fino gets a fine line for his AWP. Two collected. And towards Dark, his final players are oh, the fight coming through. Scenario gets that trade, but his days are done. This round, not possible. Nice kill on the Fino. Oh, even the second. Hold the phone. Scenario is getting some kills, getting some damage done. But the round won't be his. Oh, anymore? Okay. That's a lot of damage. An awful lot of damage on towards Sampi. Playing towards mid. Rushing down with the MAC-10. Juan Flatro spots the alive. He has to waste his incendiary very early. And they are through. They're running and high tending it towards B. Look at the chaos. But there's oh, the, the bomb. bomb. <laughs> Alone? I think there might have been two of them there. They both fall. Doesn't matter though. The whole pack is now running as the banner. It's not got no help. One MAC-10 bullet fully blind through the air. Comes Rigon. Recovering the round by opening back up this A-bomb site. Really make this happen. He's really loud about it as well. Fino's position is now known. He has to fall on back. They can hear Tag coming. I think he's just going to bail from it. Might not even be allowed. Rigon chases him down. Sloppy. Really sloppy there from Sam P. It just feels like, look, that oh, shouldn't be knife. happening. No... No, not like this. Not like this, Fino. That's an AWP, and that's $1,500. Mac 10 through dark. Rest of the players going to be coming through main. Scenario taking contact, distracting, allowing Rigon to charge on through. That's that smoke blooms. Zedko gets that trade. Advantage now with Savvy as he finds another flashback. He can drop he on some more, but Synopsy, a transfer of a lifetime, has given a lifeline to Guild. The alive creeping on forward, looking to get a kill back. He's putting an arm, but can't find the kill. HE forward dribbles all the way in and gets it. It's got to be GXX. Has to finish the job that Synopsy started. Flames forward, looking for the bag, and swinging out is the alive. What a round, and Sampy come out ahead. Yeah, really well played there by the alive. There's a threat. It's a guilty because they're all here in middle. Fortunately enough, you've got Fino, but. He gets instantly decapitated, and that is the way in for Guild. The alive looks like he's going to the smoke, and Savannah needed to get a kill. Rigon decides this is going to be his round. You might just find it. Zeko is towards the cave. Nice little off angle. Tagged able to stay alive, but Rigon surely should find this kill. Oh, he's actually walked past him. Zeko is going to stay alive, but does cost his teammates life. They can't send too many bodies at this. To keep these last remaining players alive, especially GXX with the AWP. No way to get that one to the next round. He goes down and... Oh, he does. That's even an AWP given on over. And yet again, we're back at B. The whole roster of this T side is here, but Zedko as well. He's trying to lay waste to them. He gets a double before being traded out by Synopsy. Bomb can still be reclaimed. Jack Tex can now go on this angle. It's Molly this corner, really. There it is. Tagged. Oh, finally is affected by it. But you still got the alive. You still got another rifle here. And now Savannah's rotating over as well. Fino can get on the angle. But it's Savannah that comes in clutch. It's Sampi with a fifth. And they've given themselves a lifeline for this second half. Has also been dropped over. Flashbangs. Fino's been given a P250. It's going to be towards A, all the util being lined up early, or is it really going to be the final destination? Regan with the dual Berettas, trying to make it happen. I'm worried about this, because Synopsy is in dark, and he can find the bomb, potentially. Regan finds Fino, Zedko, the bomb, it's now dropped. Synopsy under pressure, will be overwhelmed, and tagged in the alive have done magic to make sure that Sampi get on B. Yeah, that extra kill is everything. I feel like Synopsy, done enough getting one, but maybe... 
Just maybe there's a chance here. Tagged with the dual bread as he found. Has got another kill back. Scenario fighting on Ford. Looking for this kill in the side. He hits it. Oh my god, tagged. The fadeaway dual Beretta shot. That is unbelievable. No time. Nothing to be done. Tagged with an incredible round. What a pistol. What a shot as well. And in the presence of mine, I'm just going to run away. I don't think you've got a kit. I'm going to tuck around the corner. Waste all of the time for Juan Flatro. The big altercation of the round is going to commence. Look at this. They're going to swing all together. Is there a flashbang to help Guild Eagles? No. Just going to go around the corner on Synopsis Contact. And it works out perfectly. The MP9s chime in for a double. The Alive gets caught off guard with utility and even throws it back on himself. Great proactive setup in towards middle. Counting on Sampy going for a bit of a contact play. See the attempt to, to trade by swinging towards double, but that's when the extra player comes out through window. The Alive though, he's still got something he wants to do in this round. Finds on Flatro. GXX is incredibly low in towards CT. Synopsy needs this kill and he can't quite get it, but GXX does. And Zedko is left in the clutch. Fakes out the bomb plant. Needed to because Rigon is close on his heels. No, is he bad as Zedko? No, Zedko swings and Rigon stands tall. Very active here. GXX needs to be careful. They're about to pass through, but oh, actually, one for one. They continue to press the issue. Savannah's Tech 9 is taking names. One flasher comes back through. Gets a kill. Back onto the board. Four Guild Eagles. He's playing around the smoke. Hawkham knows that they've gone past. And Eric can now swing. And in the back lines, one flasher activates. Those rifles that were recovered have dropped. And the bomb as well. Tagged as a P250. And that made the round so much easier. For Guild Eagles, the rifles never really got a chance because Tagged is above at Rugs, but they've gone past each other. Yeah, look at the liberties being taken. Scenario hasn't stopped. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's going to get behind them. Yeah, this won't be calm. Four players and the bomb. Caught by the alive. Synopsy swinging, causing a distraction. Just needs to waste time, allow this one to come through, and here's Scenario. Gets one. That flashbang actually catches him off, but he does a lot of damage onto the second. And he's got the bomb as well. Guild know that Fino is stuck in here and he can't go anywhere. Sari has to be worried about other players now. The flames eventually catching Fino. And again, Sari being this high impact fragger and he continues taking space, taking kills, eventually dropped. But it's the alive, the only one alive and not for long. What a round. And again, it's just Guild Eagles being incredibly proactive. And is now struggling to find his footing. There it is. An opening kill. One flash row swinging through dark. Straight into that orb. Oh, the flame's good. Forces Echo forward. Rigon. Getting one back does cost him a chunk. GXX's turn to go looking. Flashbang is good though. Goes right in his face. Hang on. Look at mid. Look at Synopsy. Oh, never mind, he's uh, well, gone. <laughs> GXX finds his kill. Now Scenario steps in. Sampier going straight in towards A. Rugon's here, but he's low. There's a lot that he needs to do. Swinging out, misses the opportunity. Has to fall back, wait for his teammates. No, maybe not. Should have. <laughs> Definitely should have. GXX now stuck behind smokes, as too is Scenario bomb planted. Incendiary won't affect anything, but it allows Scenario to creep in closer. And GXX finds the kill. That creates a lot of space for Scenario. Flashbang over the top. Affects A main. Fino trained, ready. Needs the kill up heaven. Savannah can't peek. It's too dangerous. It's too much for a risk. Shadow's even being spotted in A main. That's confirmed intel for Guild Eagles. Bomb tapped. Fino makes his move. And now GXX knows where both of these players are. A swing and a miss for Fino. But time it is expiring here for GXX. He's got a kit. But he can't secure it. That's the round win for Sampi at the very least. And Fino. Because he can cover that cross. Oh, this is so weird. At least Tag's backed out now. And now he can call. Okay, well, they can be in this position. But Sineri still finds the kill onto Savannah. This will now activate Tagged. And he does find GXX, but not Sineri.
So they now know definitely where another player is. That forces a smoke out of scenario and he needs to retreat. Meanwhile, B is going to be under threat. Yeah, there's still three players here. Scenario kept all the distraction, but it's mid. That's the true play. Trying to spit on through for Scenario. He's repositioned it at the site and he almost transfers to two. That adjustment was everything and he finds it with the USP. He has had a lights out performance. And he might just have ended Sampy's dreams. It would have to be something magical. This is the one event here, but it's Sanary. Oh, hold up. I missed shot. 10 seconds, though. Pretty sure he's got time to pick up that bomb and plant. He finds this kill. It's all done. Guild Eagles winning it out. 13-8. Or 37. Well, even better, 13-7, right? <laughs> and look, the fact that Sampy have not won that best of one... Puts them in a bit of hot water, I'm going to be honest, because mm -hmm. I'm taking a look, and Viperio are way in the lead in that game. Uh, well, let's let's take a look at the scores. Let's see what is happening, because, look, games are finishing. Games are still being played out uh, currently. Okay, Viperio, that's Viperio winning 13-4. Viperio win 13-4.